Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Today I've got another quick and dirty for you. It's a PSK31 QSO between myself and Sierra 58 X-Ray in Slovenia. I'm using the FT817 as you see right behind me uh, with Droid PSK. I'll take a screenshot of that. I'm using 2.5 watts output power and uh, I haven't checked it yet but I think it's about 2,000, 2,500 kilometer distance. So, short, quick, dirty, here you go. Let's go. So I start off the queue, so by sending out to CQ, 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 from my call sign, my call sign, my call sign, please, and then an invitation to respond. And almost immediately, Sierra 58 X-Ray returns and answers my CQ. In my excitement, I actually hit the wrong macro. But I immediately followed up with the correct one. In ultra-portable digital communications, macros are extremely important for minimizing the keystrokes. In other words, we use macros to reduce the amount of repetitive tasks during the QSO or information exchange. In my return, I send my name, his signal report, the city I'm operating in at the moment, my locator at the moment, where he can find more information, and of course I ask him, how does he copy my signal? Now Sierra 58 X-Ray replies with pleasantries, good evening, dear friend, how are you, blah, blah, blah. He gives me a signal report. He tells me his name. He types his name twice to make sure that I've received it correctly. He tells me his QTH. He again does that twice to make sure I've copied it correctly. And he tells me his lo locator, again in duplicate. Then he asks uh, how I copy and uh, my call sign, his call sign, and invites me to return. So on my return, I give him a few more uh, bits of information about my operating conditions. Now, many operators don't do this, but it is important sometimes to uh, the old school operators. So uh, I tell him that I have a fine copy, which means I received uh, most or all of his message fine. I tell him my operating conditions, FT817, uh, my power output, 2.5 watts, the antenna that I'm using, the chameleon F loop, uh, the weather, overcast, and then I ask him again, uh, how does he copy that last transmission, and I invite him to return. In his last return, he has two choices now. He can actually uh, give me more information about his operating conditions, or he can go ahead and end the QSO, which is what he's doing now. So he thanks me for the QSO, tells me the distance, 2,144.23 kilometers, tells me how I can receive a QSL card for this QSO, he says 73s and bye-bye. So that's all fine. I have enough information to put this uh, QSO in my logbook. And I send best wishes to him. I say thanks for the QSO in uh, BPSK. Uh, 73s, good luck, good DX. And uh, I close with his name and call sign, my name and call sign, and bye-bye. And what you've seen is the most basic QSO in PSK31 using Droid PSK. Now one thing to remember guys, keyboard to keyboard chat modes like PSK31, PSK63 and so on are excellent modes for sending large amounts of information efficiently in real time. These modes don't require the internet or any nodes or things like that. No strange proprietary modems, and software is available on almost any platform. 
we're finally going to delve deeper into digital modes to help you get an understanding of what it's all about. So stay tuned. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to like us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, support us on Patreon, find us on Pinterest, Google+, and of course, survivaltechnology.net, where we share lots of news, information, and articles from our channel buddies. Finally, if you've enjoyed this video and you think I deserve it, please give me a thumbs up and share this video with someone who might enjoy it. Alright guys, rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Ciao.